Hey guys, this is an oil painting lesson for painting the sunset. To make this piece, you're going to need a canvas and a set of oil paint. Before we begin the painting, let's take a look at the reference photo I have here. So what I wanted to look at before I started putting any paint down is where my brightest spots are going to be with the paint. So the sun and the sun's reflection are the brightest points on this painting. And I kept that in mind while I painted the background to get started with this piece. I pretended like those trees and silhouette in the foreground did not exist. That's something that I put in at the very end very loosely. But to get started, I put a circle around the brightest area of the canvas and I did not want to put any paint there yet because I am gonna be putting white there and bright yellow. So I don't want to, ha because we're using oil paint and it takes a long time to dry, I didn't want to use a color there uh, that would blend and darken my white paint. So I'm still painting the background here. I'm using a very thin coat of paint by mixing my paint with mineral spirits. I can thin it down before applying it to the canvas. I am using a very thin coat for my background so that everything will dry faster and give me a thin uh, translucent uh, application of paint just so that I can see where things are and go back with my thick layer of paint later. What I'm painting right here is the tree line. So that center part of the tree line is orange because it's right below the sunset. That sun setting right over the trees is brightening up that area and giving it an orange glow. Here I began to paint the water by mixing ultramarine blue with white and some alizarin crimson. Uh, again, I did not paint the area where the reflection of the sun on the water is. I left that as a voided space for the moment and I'm going to go back there later and add my bright colors. Once I got some color down on the water, I started to paint the colors in the sky. Here I am starting to work with a thicker application of paint without using a lot of mineral spirits. I used a little bit just to blend, but that's all. Here I started with Prussian blue for the very tippy top of my sky. I know that the sky is not that dark in the reference photo, but I wanted to boost my color contrast and make things a little bit darker on the corners of the canvas, so I did make that darker than it was in the reference photo. As we move down towards the uh, area where the sun is placed in the sky, our sky is transitioning into more of a uh, pink and then into our orange colors. So I continued to add more layers, getting brighter and brighter, and then transitioning into our pinker, more orange color tones. And because we're using oil paint, I can keep adding more layers here and then blend them together without them drying. Uh, if I were using acrylic paint, I would have to add one layer, add the next layer, blend them, and then continue adding layers. But here you can add all your layers, let your paint sit there because it's not gonna dry, and then you can just go back and blend all of your layers together to get a nice smooth transition of color from the sun up to the top of the sky. In case you were wondering, I'm using a round tipped medium sized brush here and I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, blending very smoothly the colors in the sky. Okay, now it's time to put the bright orange and yellow colors into our sky. 
we're going to use the same method we used to put the other colors in the sky by going back and forth, back and forth, blending our colors up into the color right above it. By adding that yellow, I ended up masking over the pink by blending it up. So I'm going back here and adding a little bit more of that pink color and blending it back up into the blue. Here I'm adding my deepest orange red color into the sunset sky. Once I get this color down right around the edges of my brightest part of the canvas, I'm going to use some yellow paint mixed with white to make a border right around the center of that sun. And now we blend. Again, using the same method, back and forth, back and forth, keeping those uh, blending motions horizontal and trying to blend that yellow into the orange without overpowering the orange. Now if we look at the reference photo, we'll see that the area that I just painted is not perfectly blended in with the bright yellow. It is a bolder red-orange color with some stronger lines that aren't quite blended, so I wanted to repeat that into my painting. As the colors move away from the sun in the sky, I started to make them more of a pink orange shade that's a little bit more dull, not quite as bright since we're moving farther away from the sun. I also worked on updating this paint on the left side of my canvas and blended that in and went back on the right side of the canvas with that pinkish white color and blended that into the existing colors already on the canvas. Okay, so now that my sky is full of color and there's no more white on the canvas other than the inside of the sun, I started to paint the clouds. Those clouds are between me and the sun, so they are in shadow. We can just see a silhouette of the clouds, so I'm using a purple color since those clouds are in silhouette. You can't see these clouds in the reference photo uh, because the reference photo is pretty small uh, on this image here, but there are a couple clouds there that are in the sky, so I added those clouds. Uh, now I'm adding clouds on the right side of my canvas. Again, those clouds are in shadow, so I mixed some ultramarine blue with alizarin crimson, maybe a little bit of black, a little bit of white, just to try to grab that um, shadow purple color. I 
added a couple highlights to the cloud on the left side of the sky because the parts of the cloud, you can see a little bit of the sunlight in there. So I did, um, using some pink, made some highlights on the cloud. Now I'm working on the inside of the sun in the sunset. I used pure titanium white for this and blended it in very carefully to the bright yellow on the outer edges of the sun. It gets a little bit tedious here, but I'm just trying to match the color and the blending with what I'm seeing in the reference photo here. So I'm using a very small brush. I'm making sure I'm not getting too much pigment on my brush so that I'm still able to blend things together. And I'm just working on the outer edges of that sun, trying to make it look as realistic as possible. Okay, so I'm going to let the sky be for now and start working on that tree line once again with my blood orange red right where the sun is setting over the tree line. I'm making that color again, but using a thicker coat of paint. Okay guys, that's it for part one. Thanks for watching. Uh, next week we are going to do part two of this sunset painting lesson where we're going to work on painting the water and some of the plants in the foreground. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you'll get your notification next week when part two is available for you to watch and learn.